Hi there. Uh, so, what you will need is a multimeter, any will do, that can measure a direct current, which most of them can. And uh, what you need to measure is the voltage output of the rear sensor. It has two level, uh, two levels output, and uh, with reference to ground. So basically, follow uh, the rear wheel speed sensor cable, follow it where it connects to the wiring harness. For example, this is Kawasaki, but anyway, here it connects to the wiring harness. It has two wires. In your case, I believe, should be white and a black color wire. Uh, so, I'm taking one of the leads of the multimeter to a battery negative. And uh, in this case, I will be using just a stereo uh, needle, but you can use any needle uh, you have. And uh, take the connector, I'm not sure if you can see it as well. Take the connector and put the needle in between the rubber seal and the and the wire all the way in and this way it will reach the terminal and it will have a signal on it basically I believe this should do now I will connect this the other lead from the multimeter here to the signal and reference to ground like that and now when I turn the ignition key on when I turn the ignition key on in my case I am seeing 1.4 volts and if I just slightly rotate the rear wheel I will see 3 volts see that's a that that is the second level so it has two level outputs it's a square wave signal and in this case one level is 3.05 and the low level is 1.47 well basically what this is what you need to measure on your R6 if you're having difficulties uh, just give me a shot